The box is pretty much an insurance black hole. During hurricane season, it's roughly 16,000 square miles where insurance companies don't offer standard coverage. But there are loopholes, or hurricane holes, if you will. Little safe havens within the box that are known to offer protection during a hurricane. And Brunswick Landing Marina is a well-known hurricane hole. It's protected enough that even the insurance industry has given its seal of approval. But storms are unpredictable, and even a little wind can do a lot of damage if you aren't prepared. So we spoke to the experts, read the blogs, and formulated a list on how we can best prepare. Last year, we were on our boat for hurricane season in Charleston, South Carolina. This year, we are leaving the boat in Brunswick to go four hours north to Atlanta. So we need to go ahead and prepare the boat now, just in case the storm does come through. Of course, we can come down here, but we'd rather make sure that she's just ready to go in case something happens. We had a pretty good idea of what needed to be done anyway, but we did some research just to make sure that we weren't forgetting anything. And as you would expect, the general rule is if it can blow away, it will. So just go ahead and lock the, everything on the boat down, including the boat itself. We just made a nice little list and we are going to go ahead and get this girl prepped. All right, we might as well get started with the fenders. We are gonna put out every single fender we have. They are going to protect the side of the boat from the dock. Fortunately, these are floating docks. So if there is a large surge of water, the boat is gonna rise and so is the floating dock up until a certain point, which is quite high. That means that we just have to make sure that the fenders are covering the spots where the dock touches the boat now, and then they should stay relatively even as water rises. A life pro tip for you. When setting fenders on a floating dock, you need them to be just low enough that they'll protect the boat from the dock, but not so low that they're actually touching the water, because if they're touching the water, you'll get a lot of nasty growth on them. So in setting up your lines, the most likely time for a line to snap is if there's a really big shock load placed on it. These snubbers came with the boat, which is great, and they're just a hard rubber, and it's designed to absorb the shock load. What we want to do is get them set up in a place where the shock load is most likely to happen. So there's only a foot or two behind us uh, from the dock, so the most likely event of a shock load is going to be if the wind comes and pushes the boat that way. So with that, like the rest of putting on the lines is really just how many can we get on. So that is hopefully overkill. We've got a spring line on all three cleats down the port side. We've got crisscross lines on the stern and we've got another line on the starboard bow coming over the dock. So hopefully overkill, but since we're not gonna be here, we don't know what kind of storm, if any, we're gonna deal with. That's what you want. The next biggest thing that could blow, other than the boat, little boat. Uh, so we're going to take everything out of it. We've got an anchor and the gas can uh, and once everything is out of it, we're going to stow it. Lash it down, keep it tight. And the last thing you need to do after you make sure that it's nice, tight and secure is to make sure that the drain plug is unplugged. All that water could break the davits, so just want to make sure that if there's a bunch of rain, it has somewhere to go. The goal of keeping your boat in the water is aided by making your boat as heavy as possible, which is not normally what you want to do with your sailboat, but in the case of a hurricane, more weight is better. So fill up your fuel tanks, which we've already done, and fill up your water tanks. Just add gallons and gallons and gallons of weight. Not that gallons are you know what I mean. Pounds. That's the word we're looking for. Charles has been through many a hurricane growing up in Virginia Beach area. Me, on the other hand, growing up in Kansas and Atlanta, none. Like, very, very little experience. But what I do understand is wind. 
tornadoes abound. So anything that can blow off this boat needs to go inside. This is something I've never thought to wash underneath. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the water. Yep. Phew. Pro tip, time how long it takes to fill up your water tanks. That way you can set a timer. Not all water faucets disperse water at the same rate, but it's good if you at least have an idea. Probably not even worth mentioning, but don't forget to cover the helm. And we just found out that there's a tropical storm that's currently in the Caribbean that is slated to hit here in about a week. Um, not really supposed to get much stronger, but uh, it is kind of going back and forth between a hurricane and a tropical storm right now. So all of this work will not be in vain. Voila. If you're wondering what I'm doing, getting the spinnaker sheets off so they don't blow and I'm going to use this one to tie up the mainsail, keep it a little bit more secure. We are almost done but it is starting to rain so we got to hurry through the end of this. Charles is tying the front sail bag onto the sail and then we just need a couple of wraps on the jib out here to get the sails all tied up and then um, I think we can do the rest from inside. We'll make a check, make sure we haven't forgotten anything, but I think we're ready. All right, I am quickly going to run around and check all of our hatches and make sure that they are locked tight. For some reason, if they weren't locked, that would be bad. I think that's it. Last thing is done. The last piece of advice that we got from blogs and videos and forums was that it doesn't really matter how much you tie up your boat. It really matters how well your neighbors tied up their boats. So we just did a quick look around the marina and it looks like everyone has taken the same precautions we have and we're really pleased with all of our neighbors. So everything's looking good on that front. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We have been recording so much recently because we wanted to make sure there was a lot of boat related content for y'all while we were off the boat for the next couple of months. So as always, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new here and drop us a comment down below if you have any comments or questions. We'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.